Eat some bitch. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. As you can see here, right in front of your face, at the bottom of the screen today, your boy RDR is trying the quadruple burger challenge. That's right, the quad burger challenge. Now, the quad burger challenge um, was created by uh, Sharice and I think Wax with uh, I think it's Tom, it's Tom to grow with Sharice. And it's waxing with Dasha, uh, something like that. I thought it was created by uh, um, Big Mac, but I hope I guess it's a double effort with whoever created it. But um, yeah, so I'm doing that <laughs> quad burger challenge today. Uh, I was tagged by my boy, Lil Gilmo Eats. Shout out to my boy. Uh, so yeah, I was like, I got to get up on that. Because there ain't no spicy shit, and I can do a burger. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Point is, is that we got here a beautiful, homemade, not from me, from a homemade burger uh, burger place uh, that it will be unknown. Can't give out the plug. Because uh, Gilmore told me, hey, Cuddy, don't go to Burger King or none of that other stuff. Get it somewhere else. I was like, all right, Cuddy, man, I got a place. You know what I'm saying? So I went to this unknown place to get this homemade burger made, which I put some modifications to it, as you can see. This right here is a quadruple cheeseburger with flaming hot Cheetos, courtesy of the thought of the whole KFC Cheeto ordeal, with some beautiful cheese sauce on that bitch, looking flooded. You know what I'm talking about? Put some uh, ruffles on the side because I love the ruffles. And so this is the, my quadruple burger right here: flaming hot Cheetos, cheese sauce, four patties, meats and cheese, no vegetables. You know what I'm talking about? So if you a vegan, look the fuck away. <laughs> Look away, Cuddy. So that's what we got here going today. Quadruple Burger Challenge. If this is your first time coming to RDR Food Reviews, I'm your host, Roberto Del Rio, a.k.a. RDR. I not only just do challenge videos, I do uh, food reviews, I do mukbangs, mukbangs, whatever, versus videos, vlog videos, the works. So if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button at the top, that notification bell that's be racing across here on that side of this side, so you get the latest, greatest RDR Food Reviews. Uh, let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer. Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Please, food, Father, don't let this food kill me. Let this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. Bless those that go home here that pray to you. Please, Father, so I need your holy grace is mine, and we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now, so let's go ahead and get a quick thumbnail in. Mm. y'all a better close-up look at this quadruple burger right here. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? You know, Burger King can't do shit like this. Look at that. Ain't nothing like a homemade burger. If you're going to do the quadruple burger challenge, it's got to be homemade. That's the only way it's going to look official. You know what I'm saying? Got the burn spot at the top. Uh, of course, like I said, you got four patties, four uh, pieces of cheese. You got the flaming Hot Cheetos, the cheese sauce, the works. You want to take a bite. I'm struggling, bitch. <laughs> I can't help you out. All right, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to get into a little bit of hot topics, but I'm going to be smashing the majority of it. Got to get up close for this. Thumb out the way, prop the way. Let's get in. Fuck the chips. The chips are just there for decoration. You feel me? Okay, so first, let's see how we're going to attack this. Okay. Move, baby. Oh shit. You know a lot of people like, man, I wanna fuck that up. Oh man. Alright, you ready? Let's see. Hold up. Gotta cancel my appointments for the rest of the day. This is gonna be it right here. Oh God. <laughs> okay, look. First order of business and hot topics. Cut it. 
Diddy, what's going on with you, nigga? Apparently, <laughs> Sean Puffy Combs, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Shawnee Soup Man, this nigga here is allegedly fucking Steve Harvey's daughter. <laughs> this nigga tripping. So he was caught out in, in public on the first public date with, <laughs> I think her name is Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey's 22-year-old daughter. Look at that. Yeah, he was caught with Steve Harvey, 22 year old daughter. Out on the date. Puffy out here looking crazy. The fall from grace is real. <clears throat> Puffy, you a pub daddy, nigga. P. Diddy. No bad 50 year old chick out here in these streets. You gotta be out here fucking one of the kings of comedy's daughter. And that's not the worst part about it. <sighs> Apparently, this chick used to date this nigga's son. Oh my damn. <laughs> nigga, Steve Harvey daughter used to fuck your son while you was eating Govert's on the couch, nigga. Watch your biggest loser. What the fuck is going on in these streets? Goddamn refreshing. Yeah, man, she used to date this nigga, uh, son. <laughs> oh, God. You just can't make this shit up, man. So, yeah, man. This nigga Diddy out here in these streets wilding. Fucking Steve Hardy's daughter. I don't know what. I don't know what his comment or whatever it is. He probably don't give a damn. But you know what? It ain't shit Steve can say. He done sold niggas out with that book. So uh, it is what it is. <sighs> and uh, Justin Combs, Pup Daddy's son, hang in there, bro. Because eventually you're going to be in counseling. And that's going to suck ass to come home. And the girl that you used to smash is going to eventually probably be your step stepmom. I just want to know what to do in no situation like that. <gasps> Come home and find my girl, my ex-girl, laid on the couch with my daddy. I don't give a fuck that nigga rich or not. Man, come on, man. You can't be doing that shit. You know, you know Diddy out in this bitch. He's super fucking, uh, pro this nigga. He get bitches pregnant. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck around and get that girl pregnant. That shit would be a tragedy. It is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? So, next story. Oh, man. I don't know if the majority of you guys are wrestling fans or whatnot. And it's cool. You don't have to. For the grown-ups, the most of us that still watch wrestling or whatever, it's more of a soap opera to us. We know this shit ain't real and it's scripted and stuff, but it's good entertainment. And there's some people that you just love to watch entertain, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's The Rock and the Ric Flairs and this and this and that. Um, so, <coughs> hold on, let me take one more good bite. Mm. That needs to be illegal. Say it right. Anyway, speeding to the story. <sighs> so this past Monday night was like the Raw reunion, right? <sighs> and it was a 
segment between John Cena and these these this these twin uh Samoan dudes called the Uso brothers. Well, one of them, well, both of them had like checkered histories of being drunk, drunk as fuck, right? And uh John Cena had through a bar was talking about, hey man, you know, something about them niggas always getting that something about their mug shots, they always being drunk and shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting arrested for being drunk driving. Nigga, fast forward to today. <laughs> This nigga Jimmy Uso nigga got arrested for drunk driving again, nigga. After this nigga got suspended for some shit in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to square up with some cops for public intoxication. Man, oh my God, nigga. How, how, how many more chances do you need, nigga? You know what I'm saying? How many times you gonna keep getting drunk driving and drunk in public?
excuse me. That nigga still in jail because this nigga, he's still in jail held on a child support order. Um, Cause this nigga owe forty one hundred thousand dollars for child support. <laughs> oh shit! Nigga. And he gotta pay ten thousand just to get the fuck out. <sighs> Man, that was the worst decision you could ever do.